Welcome to episode 7 of Little Bobbins Knits. My name is Danny, and you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Little Bobbins. And you can find the Ravelry group under Little Bobbins Knits. It would be lovely if you came and joined. Thank you very much to everyone who's been in touch this week. It's been lovely to chat with you. I'm so excited that some of you are so excited about the mitten along, which starts today, yay! Um, a big thank you also to Sarah Swensty from Fibertrek Podcast for mentioning this podcast. That was really kind. Sarah's been filming outside lately and it's just... My romanticised version of what her life is like is what I want my life to be like. Because she's got this cosy home in the wilderness, in my mind, by lovely water with all this gorgeous wildlife. Amazing. So... Yeah, thanks, Sarah. And also to Daniela, who's Caffeinated Gert from the Caffeinated Knitting podcast. She was really, really kind about this podcast and I really appreciated it. So thank you very much, Daniela, as well. Thank you to everyone who's joined the Ravelry group this week. I'm so excited to see you there. It's really, it's getting, well, it's a really fun place to be and to chat with you so thank you for joining i've noticed we've gone over 200 members so apart from being a little bit overwhelmed by that i'm very very excited and next week i plan to have a 200 member giveaway so i haven't got the thing that i'm going to be giving away yet i plan to get it this weekend so i'll show it you on monday and open the thread for that giveaway then too I'm quite excited about it, so I hope I can actually get hold of it, but keep my fingers crossed. So today I've got some whips to show you, some, well, one finished object. Uh, there's a little bit of mitt along chat and some lovely things, and I'll draw for the giveaway for the little bag. And I'm going to do try and do that while I'm filming, so it could be a disaster, because I haven't done that before. We'll see. So, my work's in progress. I've got a really, <laughs> really needy little dog on my desk again. He keeps on um, scratching for my hand. So, my work's in progress. Remember that blanket that I was supposed to do a, a square a day? The Vivid Blanket by Tin Can Knits. I did two this week. Not quite seven. So I'm sure you've noticed, but two's better than none. I I cast one on, bearing in mind I must have knit about 20 of these so far. I cast one on and I managed to get it wrong three times in a row, so I just thought, right, I'm not having any more of that, and put it down for a bit. So, yeah, that hasn't grown as much as I'd like. My other work in progress, I just started this one. I showed you this yarn last week, it's the West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4-ply in the Wood Pigeon colourway. I've just cast on just some standard socks. I really like how the pattern is coming out. So they're fun, they're for a Christmas present so I'm sort of getting ready to get into those. And my last work in progress, I'm taking part in the mystery knit along that Lena from A Wee Bit Knitty is hosting. We've got clue one so far, so I'm not going to show you just in case anyone doesn't like spoilers because I don't like spoilers, but I'll show you the yarn. I'm using Cascade Heritage in the butter colourway. I haven't used this yarn before. I only know of one place over here that sells it and it's very reasonably priced and extremely soft so I'm quite enjoying working with it. And I'm knitting the socks, because they're socks, on 2.5mm high higher DPNs. 
they're my favourite ones. As I've probably mentioned loads of times before, I really love those needles. So that's all my works in progress. And it doesn't seem like I've got much progress done. But that's because I've been knitting this. Now it needs a block and it needs some ends woven in. But I finished the knitting on Mum's Knit Your Love Shawl. It doesn't look its best, obviously, because it needs a really good blocking. But I'm so thrilled with how it's come out. I love the colour shifts. They got me completely re-enthused about this project, seeing all the colours shifting. It's quite big, so I don't know that I can show you very well. They're lovely colours. This is the Eden Yarns. 100% Polworth, Superwash Polworth, in the Blue Ombre colourway. So I love how the different shades transition into each other. They're so well blended. I think that's one of the things about Eden Yarns. Christina really gets such beautiful effects with her blending. And this has just made me want to knit all of her gradients because they're so, they're so beautiful. She's got a pink one that I also fell in love with, but I thought this was more mum. So I might have to think of something to knit the pink one out of for me. But yeah, so I'm really thrilled with this. Knit Your Love Shawl sure, by Martina Bain. Not sure if I said that earlier. And I knit that on 3.25mm higher higher interchangeables. Higher higher sharps interchangeables. Which were great because there are some fiddly bits in the little hearts. So having the sharps was really, really handy. And I love my... That's the lightest heart, and then that's the darkest heart. Very, very different, aren't they? Oh, I love them. So I'll probably show you that again next week when I give it a good block, because, yeah, it needs it. So, ooh, knit along. Starting today, oh, I'm so excited. So we're going to start today and then go through until the 30th of November. Remember to use the hashtag LBKMITALONG. So L-B-K-M-I-T-T-A-L-O-N-G on Instagram and Ravelry if you want to. I've been really enjoying seeing the different patterns that everyone's chosen. There's quite a few people doing thrummed mittens, which... It's so exciting because I really, really want to try some thrummed mittens. So I'm going to watch those with interest, see how they come together. I haven't done it yet because the fibery part seems confusing, but I imagine it's one of those things that once you start, it will make sense. So yeah, I can't wait to see those ones. They're really fun. And just so many, so many patterns have been added to my queue because of this knit along because everyone's been sharing the projects they're going to do so thank you for doing that it's been really really fun to see which ones you've got in mind so I'm doing Pixie Pops which is my name for them by Barbara Gregory and they're these ones Bit of colour work patterning which is really exciting because I haven't got very much experience with colour work so that's going to be fun and I'm doing it in these two colours this is going to be the main colour this purple one and then this lime green is going to be the contrast and they're Cascade 220 fingering I think they seem like a good um, substitute for Knit Picks palette or something like that. I know we've got Shetland Spindrift over here and that's a lovely yarn so I could have used that too. I found this and really liked the colours so I thought I'd use that. This one's called Citron. No, that's a car. Citron. And this one I can't remember the name but it's all on my project page on Ravelry if you wanted to have a look there. 
and very excitingly, I'm still getting prizes together for the for the Mittalung, but very excitingly, we have a prize here today. So I ordered some things from <coughs> excuse me from Deb at Fondant Fiber because well I fell in love with them and I'll show you them in a second. But she very very generously sent along a prize for me to give away, and it's gorgeous. So here it is, it's lovely purples, it's just beautiful, different shades of purple, there's a bit of magenta in there, sort of silvery greys, and look at the bows, how she's tied the skein, it's so pretty, and it's extremely soft too. This is Louisa Lace, 75% superwash merino and 25% silk, in the Astral Protection colourway. It's 100 grams, which is approximately 800 metres. And yeah, it's from Deb at Fondant Fibre. So that's beautiful. So that will be one of the prizes. We also have a very generous step donation from one of our viewers for a pattern. So that's lovely too. But I'll get the prizes sort of a bit more finalised and show you them next week because I've still got a couple of things in mind so I want to get it all get it all together so that I can show you and I'll have it in the thread as well for the finished objects. So I can't wait to see your mitts. Very excited to see them. Remember to keep sharing them on Instagram and things because that's where I am the most and I would love to see them popping up. So on to lovely things. Like I just told you, I ordered some things from Deb at Fondant Fibre. If you've got clown fear, look away. So I love scary films and I love scary books. So when I saw this in Deb's shop, I just got ridiculously excited about it. If you look at it just sort of with half closed eyes it just looks like a pattern but if you look closely it's the clown from it by Stephen King and I love it it's such a it's such a great bag it's really roomy it's fantastic and it was a kit it was the it kit so it also came with excuse the crinkliness a skein of yarn this is it's pennywise the colorway that's a dog digging about in the bag. Well then, thank you. And it's gorgeous. It's purples, coppers, oranges, sort of mossy green sort of colours. And I love this, how Deb does this to the skein. I think that's so cute. And it's a superwash merino and nylon. So I imagine it will be socks. Sorry, baby. But yeah, it's very, very lovely and I'm very excited to knit with that. And it also came with a little passage from the book, which I thought was really fun. And it came with some balloons, which I thought was such a fun and just a great touch. It really, it's just really exciting kit. I've never got a kit before, so I was really really excited and really pleased to get that and I love this bag. I can't work out what to put in it yet because I want it to be something that I'm working on a lot. Maybe my mitt along will go in it but I love it. And as with Deb's orders she put in some lovely South American wool as a sample and I've actually spun the South American wool that I got with my last fondant fibre order and it's beautiful. It's actually soaking downstairs. It's it was absolutely lovely to spin. It was just bouncy and kind of reminded me of Polworth, I think. But yeah, it was beautiful. So I can't wait to spin that one up as well. And she also put in some Merino, Shetland and Yak Poonies as a little present, which I thought was just so generous. And they're gorgeous. They're, the colourway is Malachite. And they are all the greens that you would find in a malachite stone. All the different shades. And these are her made-to-order poonies. Oh, <laughs> being attacked by a dog. 
rub it in, that's not helpful. Some fondant fibre. So they'll be lovely to spin. So that was a very exciting, exciting post day. Bobbin's getting into everything. You wanted to say hello to Bryony today, didn't you, Bobbin? He's going to say hello to Bryony. Oh, he's sulking. He's in such a terrible mood today. You going to say hello? I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's just in the worst mood. Um, the other thing I got in the post was this book, Knit Along, by Larissa Brown and Martin John Brown. And I bought this because I'm obsessing about knitting the barn raising quilt, which is in this book. So I found a used copy, which was really good because really I only want the book for that one pattern. So it cost about the same as a pattern would cost. And it's in wonderful condition, actually. And I'm sure you've seen the barn raising quilt. I'm... Just trying to find a picture for you. It's that one. With all the lovely sock yarn squares. I've managed not to cast on yet. I've been telling myself that I need to finish my Vivid first. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to wait. Because it's calling me. I really, really want to knit that. And I keep sort of almost casting it on but then I don't so but soon I will so if any of you are knitting the barn raising quilt I would love to see them if you can share some pictures in the what you're working on thread perhaps not that I need encouragement to start but I know that seeing people's pictures of them in progress will just Tip me over the edge, I think. Or um, tag me in the Instagram pictures if you've got them on there. I'm, I, I imagine I'm going to cast it on by the end of the week. Now that I've got one of my Christmas presents, my most important Christmas present done for mum, I feel a bit more okay about starting something new. So I think the last thing we have to do is the giveaway. So let's try and do that in a not disastrous way. So I've loaded up the random number generator from 2 to 110, which was amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who has entered for the giveaway. I, I truly expected maybe five people. So thank you very much for all being interested. So I'll press generate. And it's generated number 46. So I'll just take a picture of that. Or not, because my phone doesn't always want... Oh yeah, I did. We'll go over to Ravelry and find out who number 46 was. Just write that down. This is why I wasn't going to do it on while I was filming because I didn't imagine that I'd be particularly swift in doing it. Okay, so 46. Ah, it's RKO. Not entirely sure how you pronounce that, but your real name is Katie. So congratulations, A-R-C-H-A-E-O. I know that you're taking part in the mid along, so that's really exciting too. And you're in Colorado. So congratulations, you've won the little bag. So if you send me along your address and your full name and everything, I'll get that in the post to you. So congratulations to you. Oh, that wasn't as much of a palaver as I thought it would be, so that's good just write down your name so thank you so much for being here this week uh, 
I'm always so so thrilled if you've watched. I really, really appreciate it. Remember to keep sharing your mit along pictures. And if you're not taking part in the mit along, just keep sharing what you're working on in the group and keep chatting because it's lovely to speak to you. And I'll look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.